So I flashed the new Android 11 that was ported from Pixel 4 for our OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 6T. And I've been using this since past few days as my daily driver. And in this video, I'll share my experience with the developer preview too. And if you should try this on your device or not. So stay tuned till the end of video to get the answer to that question. But before we get to it, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay notified about the latest videos. It's free and helps the channel out. So starting off with the new things that I might have missed in the last video. So one of it is in the notification bar. And now you can mark any notification as important. Just like this WhatsApp chat over here. So long press on this notification and click on this arrow icon. And now you can mark any notification as important. And that will appear at the top of your notification shade. And you can also control notifications per chat and customize your notifications a lot more. It's a good refinement and prevents you from getting hundreds of overwhelming notifications. Also, Google is testing out new Columbus gestures on the Pixel series of devices. In these, you can tap on the back of your device to perform certain actions, like invoking Google Assistant and taking a screenshot, and maybe customize it as well, who knows. It does look like a handy feature if it works well, as it uses the sensors that are already present in our device. So nothing new is required there, but I could not make it to work in this build but I hope it gets ported to our device in the future. And the final changes. The default wallpaper app has also been changed to this better looking card based UI. And it feels a lot cleaner overall. And the annoying file manager from the previous generation of Android has been replaced with the newer files app, which is better than their dummy app at least. So that's good. So I've been using this developer preview tool for about 2-3 days now on my OnePlus 6. And I must say, it is very stable overall. But there were some annoying bugs. Like with the YouTube Studio app, the keyboard was covering the overall text area and I could not type properly. Well, this was enough for me to switch to other room because it kills the usability and compromising with the basic features is annoying. And there were some random issues with the calls on Bluetooth as well. But nothing else apart from this. So the screen on time I got was of around 4 hours and 11 minutes, which is quite average. And the standby drain was also on the higher side as of now. So this has been a refreshing experience overall. And thus, I'll recommend you to avoid this room if you want better stability and good battery life. Also, the installation process isn't as simple as it requires you to repartition your internal storage, which can cause some serious issues if not done properly. And apps like Netflix have only HD support. So I will update when a stable and easy to use version is out. So stay tuned for that. That was your final look at the Android 11 developer preview 2 on OnePlus 6. So do like this video if it helps you out and stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys in the next one.